All right, in this video, I'm going to graph the equation y equals 4x minus 1 by plotting points. Okay, it turns out down the road, you'll, you'll see this. If you have a problem just involving a y to the first power, x to the first power, and some numbers, um, if, you know, kind of a, a few more restrictions on that. But this is going to turn out to just make a straight line when you graph it. But, you know, assuming we weren't aware of that at this point, let's just do the same thing and plot some points. Uh, maybe we can plug in x equals negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, and positive 2. Again, you can use any numbers you want. Um, typically, you know, I try to graph stuff around the origin and just, you know, smaller numbers to make the arithmetic easier. So if we use x equals negative 2, we'll get that y equals 4 times negative 2 minus 1. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 minus 1 is going to give us negative 9. So it says the y value of negative 9 goes with x, uh, the x value of negative 2. Let's see, x equals negative 1. We'll get that y equals 4 times negative 1 minus 1. So negative 4 minus 1 is going to give us negative 5. If we plug 0 in, we'll just be left with negative 1, so that one's not too bad. If we plug in um, x equals positive 1, that'll give y equals 4 times 1 minus 1. Well, 4 minus 1 equals 3. And then lastly, one more point, if I plug in 2, it looks like we get y equals 4 times 2 minus 1, which is 8 minus 1, or 7. Notice as we jump up, uh, as we increase the x values by one unit, by one unit, by one unit on the left, notice the y coordinates are jumping up by four units, by four units, by four units, by four units. And uh, I think if you think about it, you can kind of convince yourself that, that that trend is going to continue. So now I'm just going to plot these points here. Again, you know, kind of maybe a little rough by hand. So negative one, negative two, negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, negative 9. So let's see if I can make this look like a line by hand. Uh, so there's supposed to be negative 2, negative 9. Uh, here's negative 1. We go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. There's another point. It says at 0, we're getting negative 1 out. It says when you plug 1 in, we get 1, 2, 3 out. And then it says when you plug 2 in, we're up here at positive 7. And again, the idea is... Um, if you were to graph this, and then maybe if you had some graph paper uh, to produce a slightly better graph than what I have, the idea is if you were to kind of play connect the dots, um, if you had a better graph, you would see that this line goes through all the points and it makes a straight line. Okay. So again, eventually you'll kind of learn shortcuts to, to say, well, depending on the type of equation, you'll be able... So obviously I know this isn't a perfect line, it's a little, a little broken there, but again, it's supposed to just be a straight line. Eventually you'll be able to look at, you know, the exponents on the x's and y's and be able to say, you know, you, you'll be able to recognize immediately, oh, that's the equation of a line, or that's the equation of a circle, um, that's the equation of a parabola, etc. Eventually those are things that you'll want to, uh, to know just because graphing ends up being a very useful, it's a, use, a picture is worth a thousand words. A good graph will a lot, a lot of times give you a lot of information about what's actually, um, how the, the, the equation is behaving.